yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a pain and a feeling like it's unexplainable. Like I never had my bearings after that punch. And then even coming home afterwards, my eye was, I, I saw I lost a little bit of pressure in my eyeball. They had to numb it a month and a half later, numb it, stick me in a dark room for four and a half hours for the pressure to come back into the eyeball to make it normal again. Um, I didn't have a retina detachment, which was crazy to them because uh, I had a hickey on my eyeball, though. Um, I'll send you guys a picture of my eyeball after the fight on Instagram. That way you guys can see it. It like for reals, I had a hickey on my eyeball. Like it smushed, smushed the eye to the point where it had um, like a bruising. Out, out of that eye, I could see spots of red. So that was the blood vessels in the eye that were mushed together and the reflection from my eyeball would come out. And um, I didn't know if I was ever going to see normally for wow. two months after that fight. No, no way. Idea that I was ever going to get straight vision. Uh, I mean, not straight, but like without blotches Clear and, buggies and uh, you know, just a, a constant like blob in the in, in parts of my like little pieces like seeing out right now if i was looking at a white wall i could see like little blotches in the wall um wow. until that blood went through the blood vessels in the eyeball because you have those little bitty veins um until that hickey dispersed out of there and got all the way through there and the trauma came out of my eye i could then Damn. see it again so it was, wow. it, was uh, it was really scary and it was it was odd but i knew uh, so mind you two months after that fight I'm thinking I don't know if I'm ever going to see without these blotches in my eye they're kind of fading should I call Dave Feldman and tell him you know that that it was a lot of fun but I'm not going to do my last fight um, it, and then I go back to my deal with God three fights I want to be the number one guy and but how am I going to get that opportunity now after losing to the pretty much the champion at 155, even though I'm undefeated at 165, how do I get that opportunity now? So I just sat back and waited. I didn't do anything. I just started training. Um, I went back into the gym and I started really focusing on head movement, learning how to duck very little to take ever take any shots from the eye trying to keep my hands higher, trying to do all these different things. So I start working for, I don't know why. I just go to the gym and start really busting it out. Check out the full, check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.